Journey to the Savage Planet is a uh, heavily story-driven first-person uh, adventure. Uh, it is a such such an interesting piece. It actually gives me like Stanley Parable vibes. Uh, while Stanley Parable was a bit more loop based, this game gives you an open world to explore. Uh, but you do have that same uh, kind of theme with the people you're interacting with, with the uh, the kind of corporatist uh, environment that you're in. It's actually a, a brilliantly brilliantly funny game. Uh, we were streaming this, and people like immediately knew that they wanted this game or didn't want this game. Uh, it is, uh, well actually we're gonna get into the into the single player in just a second here, but instead of showing you my full save, which would show you basically a whole lot of unlocks and everything, uh, I'm gonna start from scratch. And again, you're gonna know if you're gonna like this game, like within the first like five minutes. So let's see, we're gonna go normal or old game minus, brilliant. Zero percent, here we go, strap in. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars. Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY-26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> but don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note, all the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive and see you soon. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose fever, blood spills, feeling emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue times exceed six months. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. <laughs> the whole game is like this okay like if you're not if you're not sold right now i'm gonna have a tough time selling you after this but if you're gonna hang out let's do it <laughs> i can end the video right now most of you guys are like yeah let's go on the wish list all right here we go let's log in and do this Ugh, do this survey 
Da, da, da. Oh god, this thing takes forever to load. Here we go. <laughs> it's totally interactive, like UI here. Boop. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, huh. and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Who will say? Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, the dog. Thank you. I'm super <laughs> glad you're not crazy. <laughs> All right, so it says, thank you for your time, Explorer. That, uh, this is the end of the report. Please press the submit button to send your answers to Kindred's data center for processing. Enjoy your adventure and stay alive. So, here they're going to give us a little breakdown, a little, little welcome. It says, welcome to the first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name here. As a, number, as a member of a Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed, founder and CEO. Like I said, the whole game is like this. It's just one start after another. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. <laughs> it has co-op, by the way, so that's why there's a second teleporter. So if you're into that kind of thing. So here we are, not knowing what we're supposed to do, but I do. We're going to go ahead and throw this, we'll throw it over there for now. Oh, here we go. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Aiden, your exploration, the javelin is equipped with several small, robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. So, these little puff things here, what are they called again? Uh, puffle, 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 puffer birds. Uh, so there's a lot of different variations you're going to come across. Um, and you can lower them. Bitch! Get out of here. Try that mess. And you can lure them somewhere by throwing a can of this grog, a grob. Throw it down, they're like, oh, snap! And then you can gather around and uh, give them a couple slaps if you need to. By the way, I slapped this tree with my backhand there and uh, freed up some health. That's what that is. So, in a second, uh, 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 gonna hey, fart out some currency. Look at that. Carbon, carbon. Let's give him a slap. Give him a slap. Oh, yeah. Like a power slap, too. Check this out. Ah! Oh! I feel kind of bad. And they're so cute and so Got full of for that. Juice. What's up? So full of juice. Speaking of, I was going to grab another one. Grob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. <laughs> oh, gross. The hint for space to jump. I sound like a panting dog in here. I don't remember this when I was streaming. Track objective. Yeah, I gotta go to the back. That's right. Release the drone. Here's your ship. God, this stuff, all this stuff is so well designed. Wait till we get to the to the to the other side. <laughs> Here's your little buddy. Little flying claptrap. Few of them. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up. But you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up Do that now. <laughs> we actually thought initially, we never looked this up actually. Um, this machine will copy you into its memory, on. delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. <laughs> we actually thought this was, this was uh, Kristen Schaal doing the voice here. This exterior must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If yeah, you lose that. your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel so tanks start. are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get one back more home. Thing, I think. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. I love it. <laughs> She's so good. All right, uh, right over here. I'm just gonna go over here and do the the old. Oh, oh, oh I ran out of stamina. Ah, oh, embarrassing. 
come on, come on. Shh, do the old Warframe. Scan this. Boop. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use Survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. There we go. I do sound like a dog. I don't know why I threw that. I'm detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please skip. These crystals mm -hmm. look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. Nice work. You already have the required amount of carbon to craft a highly <laughs> functional base level Nomad Plasma Pistol. Alright. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. <laughs> oh. God, you know, I really don't remember the breathing like a puppy dog thing. <gasps> oh my god, because I slept the puppy dog portrait. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. Anything you drop inside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. I told you guys, I told you guys, the whole game is like, oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> Number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with platinum slurp plus neutral minerals power booster edge 20 million Rock, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience with tastes flavors and textures like beef chicken pork chocolate mousse heart candy chili bacon burger sunny man chives great seed parmesan cheese vanilla swirl la john donut <laughs> salisbury steak pasta <laughs> paisano buffalo banana wings Horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lance bleed, poutine, wonton fecal surprise, cucumber shit water, nose broth, and literally trillions more. more. Now that's good flavor. Rock, the 100% artificial food replacement shell taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with Rock. Rock's considered a plus nine petrol cluster and is not there for monsters. Oh, man. Do not under any circumstances speak to Star Journal. See website for details. It's what plants crave, right? You're getting so many idiocracy vibes. Oh man, ah, I told you guys the whole game's like this. I am an actual dog now. Wow. Let's go to a 3D printer and try to make something. I don't look like a dog, but I sound like one. All right, weapon, Nomad pistols. Let's go ahead and get this thing built. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a weapon. Oh, I have a message too. These are just going to be. Um, Remember the kindred value system. That's right. We'll read that another time. You can actually go back and watch those videos again if you want. In full screen. Almost full screen. It's just technically windowed inside of that window. Yep. Oh. So now we have a pistol. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Bio signs, nominal. Oh my god. I'm a dog. Unbelievable. Oh my god. It's incredible. These guys are geniuses. They're geniuses. I loved this game before, but boy, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now around the open. That was pretty sexy. Power looming above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. <laughs> Let me scan some stuff while she's doing that. This fungazoid sports several spongy, porous pom pom pods. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Boing. Effective, Effie. Yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. <laughs> all right, so we have a puffy thing. Let me see. Ah, oh, that's right, the eggs. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Okay. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound, which may be useful in our exploration efforts. Mm -hmm. Please scan it. 
Alright, we'll scan it first. Whoops. <laughs> You're supposed to scan it first. You just... You, you just ate a thing without even scanning it? That's... I mean... That's one way to attempt to survive on a hostile planet. Though I guess whatever you ate did improve your immune system, so, uh... You do you. I guess. <laughs> so she says something completely different, obviously, when you scan it, because she just freaked out because I didn't scan it and I ate it. God damn! Uh, it's, it's hilarious. It's my second time playing this through. I haven't finished the first playthrough, but it's just already so many different experiences. Um... So many things are just can just be rolled out differently. God, man, it's fucking brilliant shit. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't, I don't want me to go back, but I kind of want to go this way. Cause there's another egg out there. We'll come back. We'll come back to you. I remember this part though. Oh, oh I took damage. Where is it at? Flying squid things. Reload. Reload. Where do you guys put your reload key? I've noticed that in a number of games, like not playing them, like uh, uh, like near, like anywhere near each other, like just kind of coming back and playing and revisiting some uh, uh, older games. I noticed I always put the reload on the um, the back button. Wait, was it the back button? Yeah, the back button on your mouse. I don't know why, it's just, it's just natural for me. So every game, apparently I do this, and I didn't realize this until today, because I played, um, what did I play? I played earlier, uh, BPM. And BPM is a, you know, rhythm-based shooter, uh, but you, it is a game you have to reload in. And so, yeah, it was just like, I just start, just boop, 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 and just done. Let me see here, what do I have to do next? There's like this, there's like this zone that I'm in where it's like, okay. What is cool that we could do because oh yes, I remember now. Let's walk up to the Verdant Wilds. Just gonna want you to say something. I want to introduce you to your alien life you'll be dealing with. <laughs> Alright, God, it's just beautiful. God, the game really is beautiful. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, so we need to... <laughs> I gotta scan it. Let me scan it real quick if I can. <laughs> Where's she at? <laughs> Come here, I gotta scan it. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Come on. Got it. It thinks you're gonna kill it. Aw, <laughs> oh, how accurate. <laughs> This anthill is way bigger than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> Actually, I think there's a there's a fast travel coming up, so we're gonna push forward here. No, no fun going back anyways. Go and scan. I thought you scanned the water here. Alright, let's go over to... Uh, over this way. <laughs> Still screaming out from the distance. <laughs> Doesn't get old. Alright, so there's a couple of things you can get to over here. So first off, it is very much an open world game, right? Uh, it's not such a huge open world. Like, once you get to the top, you see it's not, like, really that big. But there's so much verticality. There's so much verticality. There's so many nooks and crannies. Like, there's just so much detail. There's that thing down there. We'll probably see that later. Uh, yeah, I mean, they just did such a stellar job on this world. It's not procedurally generated. Like, it is a crafted world that you can get into and explore. Uh, and, of course, there's all of the uh, different RPG points that you're going to come across like this. like to make the attempt. The jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for the basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Mm-hmm. So let me see. We'll come over here. We'll do... I uh, We were liking it when we were streaming it. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, when we were streaming it, we were likening it to uh, kind of like a No Man's Sky in terms of aesthetics and, and like some of the whoa, some of the design, the general like theme. Can you scan this, yes I do. Looks to have fallen from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago. 
Wow, I remember that. 400 years ago, jeez. Chim chimney, chim chimney. Oh, gosh. Just lined me. But there's another one here. It's been a minute. God, look at this. But seriously, though, like, you will, you'll start exploring and start, you, you'll start, like, for example, that, that point right there. We'll scan that in a second, but that's a grapple, uh, grapple point. Once you get a grapple, oh, somebody's hostile. Anyway, so once you get a grapple, that opens up even more verticality of things you could do. Uh, there's... I mean, you feel like you're breaking the game with the, some of the directions you take and some of the chances you take jumping off of cliffs and all that stuff. And then you realize that there's content out there for you to go and do. It's crazy. It's crazy what they've done. <laughs> this fucking dog. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, yeah, these guys. So cute. Oh, it's got a sniffle. Sickly, but still loves you, it says. You can slap these, by the way. Get some loot. This is slap mining. So exit over there. I oh, think I keep on hitting control to crouch. Get a light going. You very rarely use these, by the way. Only in certain, like, very, very few occasions. Uh, let's go and slap us away. There's something back here. Forget what. Ah, yes, right. Vein. Now, how do I get up now? So... Yeah, when I when I first did this and I saw and I got this, I was like, oh wow, I'm going to be doing this a lot because this light sucks. <laughs> uh, but nah, you rare, very rarely ever do it. Did you drop it back there? Of course you did. There's a dang thing here. I think I'm up. I feel like I hear the screaming of that damn bird outside. Just echoing through the cavern. Wow. This may be the first ever chronicled example of alien art. What? More of those sickly things. I think we have to make our way all the way up. I wonder what kind of stuff we're gonna be unlocked in today's episode here. This is there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack. Extract and analyze. There's a photo mode too, by the way. It's pretty good. She's always looking at. You learn to love her. Don't worry. I don't need those things. That's right. We'll run out of here. Then uh, I'll take a moment. Well, actually, no, I'll show you the the photo mode later. Oh gosh, dog. Oh, oh god. It's such perfect dog sounds too, because that's exactly what. <laughs> like I picked up on it immediately. Didn't connect the dots. Okay, so 168 meters this way. I don't remember what's, what we're gonna go do right away. I don't think it's taking me home. There is, uh, is, I don't think there's any more down. Yeah, we're pretty much at the bottom, the bottom rung of this thing. And you go to some just wild places. Like, what is, oh, that's what I think over here. You end up going um, through all kinds of biomes and just all kinds of areas. There's a fungus biome, there's like a lava biome, there's all kinds of stuff. And they keep it pretty well hidden. <gasps> what the? <laughs> I didn't know they did that. That was my first time killing one. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we're going back. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. We're going. <laughs> I can't believe just how much crap. Yeah, that's right. When they make that sound, they burst into a million pieces. Okay, where's it at? There it is. You get lots of loot from those. 
solid soundtrack too, by the way. Should probably be a little more wary of my, uh... Oh, hold on. Just in case killing the adults wasn't sadistic enough. <laughs> I've never tried shooting the eggs though. I'm a little, I don't know. I don't want to go there. These things are pretty great. Oh, that's not about me bouncing backwards. I ended up climbing all over these walls here because I was trying to look for another, uh, bolt to basically break the game, um, for a path somewhere. And I ended up, I ended up finding a path that took me to a, uh, to a higher tier level that I couldn't quite reach before. Oh, can't reach that. Oh, <laughs> oh poor dog. <laughs> but those yellow eggs, the things that I smash my hands into and then eating the goop out of, uh, that's what you want to collect. That, and that's what ends up, uh, basically leveling you over time. <laughs> you can craft an upgrade if you wanna. You know what? I'm not gonna spoil anymore. I'm not gonna spoil anymore. Because you guys are gonna have to play that part yourself. <laughs> Let's see. I uh, see improved damage, which I do want eventually, but we gotta make the backpack first, so improve this. I see you have upgraded your jetpack. Right. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. <laughs> minimal. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. There you go. You get a little boost. Just a little carrying boost. Not much, but enough. And also, it gives you uh, a lot of flexibility when you're trying to make uh, last-second decisions in the air. <sighs> Um, let me see. So regular regular control is when you commit to a jump, you're pretty much committed, right? Especially from a sprint. Like that's me slowing it down. So running forward, jump, back. Ah, uh, yeah, you're pretty much committed. But the double jump will let you jump and then bounce yourself back real quick. So you can imagine a, a game that encourages spelunking and basically exploring and climb, wall climbing and all that stuff. Uh, you can imagine how useful that would be. Uh, in a lot of situations. Oh, oh god. Just shoot it, you know. Just... Alright, now we can just try to get get up. This is not gonna get me anywhere, but that's a grapple thing. I should probably scan that. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you fire it. I'm mm -hmm. working on a blueprint for you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try to make our way up. Oh. Because there's an egg. Uh, God, I mean, they're all over the place, but there's definitely one down here, I believe. Oh, I got that one. That's right. Is there one behind the water back there? I bet there was. It's way over there now. Oh, jeez, of course there is. Man, I bet you guys, I bet some of you guys were like, how could you miss that? You've already played this game. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, these guys are mad shooting at me. Eat it quick. You can take damage, by the way, while you're standing here. I learned that the hard way. Oh, news, bad news. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, the next point. Where do you want me to go? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Slide down this thing? Not really. Oh, I was out of stamina. Just want to see. Just get down Warframe. Slide on. <laughs> the screaming. <laughs> well, shit. Now I'm gonna shoot them because I know they'll break apart. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I didn't respawn. Uh, all right, over here. I know there is an area for me to double jump. Right here. Huh? Huh? Secret nearby. I all right, some right here. I don't know. I don't think this is a secret actually. I think the secret is up there, and I have no way of getting there. Even I think in my other save, which is crazy. Uh, but this is in 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 a way, this is the um, 
just kind of the type of exploration you're gonna be doing. You're gonna you'll backtrack a little, uh, backtrack a little bit, or you'll just find a way to wall hack your way up there, uh, and that's gonna be all over the place. It's just so many little nooks and crannies and caverns and all that stuff. So this is the game telling you that these things dig grob, right? Uh, and what you do is you take one of these grob things, you drop it right by here, and they're like, oh snap, I love grob, and this thing's like, oh snap, I love puffers. Delicious. <laughs> There's another secret nearby. I'll show you what that is. Right here. It's a solid wall. You can't shoot through it. You can scan it. And she'll say... A cracked wall. I have a few theories on what is possible here. All of them involve explosives. She says something completely different that when I... upgrade would be very useful indeed. When I scan it I the first time. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these. That thing you picked up looks disgusting and squishy and bouncy. She is talking about this. I could put this down anywhere. Hold on, hold on. Fire! All right. I can put this thing down, like here, and then boop. Just imagine the possibility. Imagine the possibility is another thing over there. We need a special kind of uh, of uh, grenade in order to take care of that. Oh, oh, a little left. Oh, a little too far. There we go. Hilarious. We'll keep on progressing. There's probably some uh, some little up upgrade egg things around here somewhere. They usually keep them kind of hidden. This is yeah. Here we go. I'll say this this is the kind of stuff you guys are gonna be doing when you're playing. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna be doing when you're playing. You're gonna start going around and all along the entire edge of a, of, a, of a landing or a riser just to see if you could find one of those eggs because the more you get, obviously the higher the level you are, the more durable your bones are. The chicks dig bones or hard bones or something. Something like that. This is, uh, here we go, this guy. We'll snap one of these. Then we'll give this thing a toss. Maybe right down here somewhere. I can't remember where. And then it goes... Kaboom! Take this. Throw it down there. And that's how those work. That's an egg. We'll get it later. Slap this to health. <laughs> Everything, just slap it. Uh, you see a little glint? You see like that right there? That just means that something's interactable. So keep your eyes out for something like that because that just tells you that that's a thing that you can interact with. That's all. Nasty looking hole. I wonder what's in it. <sighs> Alright, let's see what I'm supposed to do. Go up, 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 up. Hmm. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that again. Oh, yes. I don't remember if this is the way. This sure looks incorrect. Oh yeah, there's grapple points. Yeah, I can't do this yet. Holy crap, I haven't done this yet? Dang, it's crazy. I'm telling you guys, this is so much crap. There's so much crap. You unlock. And that opens up other chunks of the world. Give me your carbon. Give me your silicon. Where's it at? Don't, not over there, because that's when I'll get like the freaking... The jackpot. Good. See, they, they will seriously drop these things all off the edge and you're just never gonna get it. Let me see. Oh, not that way. Let's go back over here. We're kind of off the beaten path here, uh, obviously. There, there. Love it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can reach that one if you'd like. There's a side thing over here we're gonna do. Another one. The other one's up there, but that's fine. That's the main story. We don't just have to do that right away. Besides, I'm just here to be a tour guide and show you guys the scenery. Not give away all the great campaign stuff. You've seen enough. You've seen enough. Secret nearby. I don't remember what the secret is, but I do know there's something back over here. They regen, so just slap them. Where are those little puffballs? 
Oh. They're so far. There they go. That one might be too far though. Oh, I'm out! Oh no, I'm out of, uh, grub. What if I can gently kick this guy down there? Oh, thank you. Alright, maybe we juggled both here. Careful, careful, careful. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna go over here. We'll I don't remember what's over here. We'll find out. Oh, plenty of, plenty of porgs. Puffers. Hold on, there is something over here. This is not a dead end. Oh, oh, no! Oh. Oh. Well. I don't think there's any getting out from here. No! This is what happens when you die. Let me put you right back. And then you go and do the same dumb thing again. Oh. Just to save yourself a couple extra seconds. There we go. Alright. Now we're full. <laughs> Just to save yourself some time. Uh, Alright, where are we going? Let me see. Uh, 63 meters up. We're gonna go ahead and follow that, I guess. Because now the other one is 117. Oh, it's also up. Yeah, that's the bomb thing. I don't have the uh, ability to hold those yet. There was the other direction over here. Gonna slap! He's gonna live? Yeah, see? I just gotta be careful where I slap him too. Oh, no, he's pissed. <laughs> so cute. So cute and so mad. Ah, this is why we need more of these. We'll go up this here. Come on over! Feeding time! Oh! Got one. Now nah, he's mad. Okay, so, even more good news. Those tumors that improved your stamina and replaced your bones, they've spread to the musculature of your lower body, which gives you rock-hard glutes. You should be psyched! <laughs> That red scanner thing. Uh, that's what's happening over there. You guys see that? Um, that's a mob we may not encounter today. We may not. Yes, there's a secret nearby. I cannot open it, but there's the other one we did open. We're chucking up a grenade. Here it is. Boom. This is your lifeblood right here. Trying to find some way to collect all of these. As many as you can. They're in weird ledges. They're, uh, they're all going to be hanging upside down. Uh, hidden behind crap. And you're gonna see one, you're gonna be like, I have to get to that right now. <laughs> I have to find some way. Spend an hour creating your own jump puzzle. I mean, like, right now. Oh my god, like, right now. One, two, can you really do this? Hold on. It doesn't look like that's meant to be, but that's, like, seriously everything in this fucking game. Doesn't look like you're supposed to do that, but... Doesn't look like you're supposed to do anything with this, actually. This actually looks like it's a dead end. But why would it all be linked together? <laughs> oh, that's, that's not right. Well, oh, oh, that could have been a, the secret to some crazy something. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm going in circles now. Let me see. I still have to go up. And I'm stuck. I, 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 supposed to go, I thought I was supposed to go through there, but I guess not. And that will take me down if I go that way. Oh, I'm freaking lost. We got the bombs. Ah, that's right up the hill. Up the hill, up the hill. Here, we got the bombs we dropped down. Let's go grab one. Four, three, two, one. Is that gonna work? Oh, that actually works! This planet was supposed to be devoid of intelligent life, but these structures... <laughs> why don't you scan this one? Oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, not this. Now he wants. Oh, she doesn't want this. She wants a structure. Looks I did like not know that would work. I swear to God. Device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. <laughs> Before you jump in, Kendrick says I 
need to read you a 400 page waiver book of all responsibility. I speed read it. <laughs> Come on, open up. These guys give you loot. Come on, pinata time. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. That. Oh, he's playing games with me. Cow okay, back up a little bit. I'm not in here. Sneak up behind him. What's he doing? What a jerk! <laughs> what a jerk! I've never seen one stand down like that. You should just open up when you walk over and it's like, oh yeah, I'll eat that. Sure, okay, well, feed. Oh, lucky. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Come on. Give me another one. There we go. <laughs> this game's got so many jokes. So many different ways. There's a path up there. We're gonna go up here. Oh, yes we are. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, perfect. Secondary bonus of your lovely new jetpack is that you can use it horizontally to dodge a creature such as this one. Might seem a little aggressive. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I have shown you guys a lot of this game, and I feel like, well, not a lot, but I mean, I feel like I've shown you guys enough. This is gonna be our final boss fight because I don't know where, other, where else we're gonna find a fight that's gonna be like this. Uh, so, this is the first encounter that you would normally have. I actually encountered it a little bit after this. I hope that I still, uh, that I can uh, handle it. But that thing right there, she might explain it. Let me see. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Okay, uh, so inside of that is I think an alien something core or something uh, And it's a major piece that's used in crafting and you've already seen how crafting works well crafting upgrades and such uh, And so you're gonna you're gonna need to collect these as well Think of them kind of like the upper echelon when it comes to the golden egg things that you smear all over your face uh, But they're usually guarded or they're triggered by some kind of environmental thing uh, in this case well, whoa, we're gonna have to actually deal with a, whoa, a guard. Oh, dang it. Get the other side, get the other side. It's the only part you can hurt him on. That's it. Okay, I need, oh, jeez. Here we go. The real challenge. Ah, oh. Oh. I get my butt kicked here. Hold on. Let me go slap this tree. Get some health. Okay, the little one gets here. Go. Come on, do you think he's gonna run? Oh, dang. Oh, jeez. Woo! Beautiful. I can't remember if there was a third r round or not. Okay, the music stopped. Thank God. Ah, here it is. Can I scan this thing too? Oh, look at that. Alien alloy. That's right. Great. Once you bring this alloy back to the javelin, I can start the repairs and unlock the first set of upgrades for your stuff. But that's where we stop, guys. So... The game is... Uh, it's so campy and so well written. The uh, character that you're speaking to, the AI or whatever, uh, she is fantastic. 
uh, the the way that the, the the more things you discover about the world, like there's little hidden jokes and shit all over the place. And like I said, this is my second time playing through, and I'm discovering all all kinds of stuff that I didn't notice the first time. Um, it's it's just they did a good job. Like it's supposed to be a seven to sixteen hour campaign, um, and you know at the at the uh, price point, which is let me refresh my memory here, it's uh, twenty nine ninety nine. It feels like it's going for the Subnautica thing, right? Like it's supposed to be kind of like a Subnautica RPG where you could go back and play it again and again. There's no uh, structural, like building structures or anything like that, or base building. Um, there is mainly just augmenting your character, doing more parkouring all the way up this crazy mountain, uh, and just discovering it's not just it's not just the surface. Like you look at this mountain, like you see, there's a lot of surface here. Um, you can even see the uh, lava stuff up there too. Uh, there's also the inside of the mountain. <laughs> so it's, it's significant, man. And it goes all the way up. So, uh, yeah, the game is called Journey to the Savage Planet. It is currently available on Steam, uh, and other platforms for $29.99. My name is Mike BAK Phony. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys. Bye.